What's up everybody, it's Danny Gould with the Gould team selling Silicon Valley and today we're gonna to talk about how to make millions in real estate. You know, it's trending right now. I, I don't know what it is. I, I, there's just a lot of excitement in the air, right? And so everyone wants to be a millionaire now. And I think the important thing to remember as my boy Gary Vaynerchuk says is that patience is the key, right? And so right now, you know, People are going crazy, they're like, how do I make millions? And the reality is, is that it takes time, right? It's not going to happen overnight. And so I'm just gonna take you through a couple of quick tips on how to succeed and how to continually grow your wealth in real estate and, and avoid being one of those suckers that ends up losing it all during a market recession. You know, here's the key. Leverage is definitely important, okay? When you are purchasing an investment property, you definitely don't want to pay all of it cash, right? You do want to leverage your, your money because at some point, you know, leveraging does allow you to experience a much greater, a much larger growth in net worth in a shorter amount of time, right? So leveraging is key. Putting 20 to 30% down is absolutely essential, but not too much more. You know, you definitely want to create wealth. If you definitely want to create wealth, then you want the appreciation to essentially, you know, take care of any sort of debt that you have on the property, if that makes sense, right? You, you want your property to appreciate to a point where the debt is very insignificant, right? So basically, how to become a millionaire in real estate. There is obviously one very simple rule, and that's patient patience but there's another very simple rule and I talk about it time and time again and that's called and that's buying and holding you know lack of patience contributes to a lot of people's demise in real estate they see the market not moving or they jump into something too quickly or they get out of something too quickly and they say shoulda coulda woulda right and at the end of the day buying and holding pretty much mitigates all of that behavior because if you purchase something with the intent to hold it forever, then time is the only thing on your side, right? And so really being patient and holding real estate as long as you can is absolutely essential. There are some, rule, there are some exceptions to that rule, but on the whole, I would highly suggest if you want to watch, go ahead and watch the video. Uh, I, well, I'm not going to link it here, but you can go ahead and watch it. It's called, you know, uh, number one rule to succeed in real estate or something like that. Uh, succeeded as an investor uh, because it is the number one rule, right? The other thing I was going to talk about uh, talk about real quick and and I wanted to say You know, and I, I said earlier how to avoid, you know, essentially Being a sucker right during a market recession when you act too fast You will get hurt and I think it's really, really crucial to understand that right now the market is on fire, which means that things are going crazy, crazy high. To buy right now is essentially to say goodbye to that money for the next seven years. Let me explain. Over the next seven years, we will experience at least one recession and one uptick, right? The general cycle is around seven years. This, this one is taking a little bit longer, but I have every, you know, I have a lot of confidence. I think a lot of people uh, in the real estate industry will agree with me that there is some sort of market correction coming. Is it going to be a crash? I, I don't think so, but definitely a recession and a correction will occur. Okay. So in that time, that is when the real, real wealth is created. Think about that. If, if you save the money, and this is coming from a real estate agent, I'm telling you to like essentially not buy right now. Uh, there, are, there are exceptions to the rule, but, but for the most part, I'm, I'm speaking to the general public. For the most part, if you take that money, you sit on it, you know, don't you know, spend it, don't do that, but take that money and then, you know, in 24 months, be an opportunist and go get two properties for the price of one, you know, or two properties for the price of, of one and a half. You know, that is how to create wealth because then you're, you're thinking tactically instead of just going off and, and, and 
willy-nilly, oh, you know, I'm just going to go spend my money now that I got it, right? Because, of course, the economy is treating everybody really, really well right now. <laughs> I guarantee you that when the market goes down and the suckers that unfortunately, and I call them suckers, and, 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 and honestly, I, I feel terrible uh, saying that, but the people that make a poor decision, that's the better way to say that, the people that make poor decisions at this moment because they think emotionally, they make an investment decision based on emotion instead of Okay, it's the stupidest thing in the world. I mean, this should not be involved in business decisions. It's all this. Got it? Good. Especially in real estate. You know, real estate is so emotional as it is. I mean, it's a house, right? Oh, you, oh, you want it to be pretty, you want it to be fancy, you want it to be in the best area, you want it to have the greatest schools. Bullshit. When you're an investor, you gotta think about the dollars and the cents. And sometimes, the sexy house is not the right house to buy, right? So anyways, how to become a millionaire in real estate. And, and I'm gonna tie it all up in here. It's kind of like a stream of consciousness today. You know, it's not like, you know, 10 simple rules to getting rich and making millions in real estate. But really, you know, the guide, or the, 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 the guide has always been the same. Save your money, invest it wisely, be patient. And if you can be an opportunist instead of, you know, buying at the peak of a, of a market, you know, of, of an up cycle. It's just right now, if you're an investor, you know, uh, there's, there's definitely opportunities to be had still. So I don't want to, I don't want to ingrain it that there's, there's no opportunities out there and that, you know, you, you shouldn't be investing. But for the most part, you know, if you're, if you're stuck in, in a bidding war against like 10 other people, chances are you're going to be overpaying for that house and that same down payment you could take and, and probably buy two investment properties around the same area for about the same price you know and so not not the same price but you know one and a half times the price you know two properties you know it's like buy one get one 50 percent off kind of deal right bogo 50. so <laughs> where's that payless aren't they out of business yikes anyways guys I hope that helps. I, I know that it's not the, the most, uh, you know, regimented video, but these are just some of my initial thoughts. And, and as we keep going and, and as we make more videos, you'll definitely hear not only from me, but other colleagues in my, you know, in my industry. And, and uh, you know, go ahead and, and tag Grant Cardone. I want Grant on this show. And uh, I, I wanna interview him and, and get his opinion on, on what I just said. But I think for the most part, everybody's on the same boat. You know, real estate investors all think the same. And, it, it, and at the end of the day, if you look at all the real estate investors and all the ones that really do it really, really well and the ones that win constantly are the ones that all do it all based on the numbers and they don't make a single decision based on emotion, right? So just, just keep that in mind for all you real estate investors out there, okay? Danny Gould, Selling Silicon Valley. Oh, I almost forgot. Go ahead and click the subscribe button because I know you want to subscribe. Go ahead and like the video. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer on video, go ahead and leave the question down below and I will do my very best to answer that question in video format. And if you have a comment, go ahead and leave the comment. Once again, you know who it is. It's Danny Gould, Selling Silicon Valley, and I'm out.